Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, room capacity macro. Now, we recently had a returning to work blog that was uh, put out, and uh, this is basically gonna be a little bit of a demo of what we talked about in that blog. So with uh, everyone starting to return to work to some degree, um, you know, companies are obviously taking some things like social distancing and room capacity guidelines into effect. So what we're going to do is just kind of show you how the Cisco modern devices can use our room intelligence to help you provide a safer work environment for your employees when they return to work. So one really basic example that we're talking about here is, let's say that you have a conference room that would normally um, be sufficient for 15 to 20 people maybe uh, to, to house in that room with the table and everything. But with new uh, social distancing guidelines from returning to work, you may want to limit the capacity to say, you know what, we only want about five to six people in this room to make sure that they're you know, uh, appropriately distanced uh, and, and kept safe. So what we've done here is we've just got a very, very basic macro, which will kind of give you an idea of some of the things that you could do uh, with your Cisco devices to help alert your employees. And then you can even get more advanced to do things like alert your management, your staff, your workplace resources, whatever, about what's going on in your room. So um, to get started, let's just go ahead here and I'm going to bring up. I've got a couple things here I want to show you. So first off is in the upper right hand corner here, I've got this returning to work. This is the blog post that I was talking about. And um, I'm going to put a link to this in the video description so you'll be able to see it. But just going through here, kind of giving you an idea of uh, kind of the, the reasons and what you can do uh, in regards to the room intelligence. Um, but the one thing I want to show you here too is, is on this is there's a link to download the macro. Now this right here will take you actually to a, a GitHub from Richard Bays, who I worked with. Um, many of y'all are familiar with um, on this macro, and uh, it's his GitHub. It allow you to kind of download exactly what we're going to show you and demo here today. Again, this is very very basic, um, so we're going to show you. We're actually going to demo it, show it in action. Um, there's even a little screenshot at the top of this here, kind of showing you what we're talking about. But uh, we're going to see it live today. So. Um, go there, download the macro. If you've got any questions, obviously comment below and we'll get you squared away. But now let's look at the uh, actual, oops, sorry there. Let's look at the actual um, device itself. So down here below, I've got myself logged into the Trustio board behind me here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the integration page and we're going to go to the macro editor. Now, if you had went to the blog post, you've downloaded this macro, you've got it on your desktop somewhere or your, or your machine, uh, and you're going to go to your device and you're going to go to your macro editor here. Now, I've got a couple macros already on here, including a little more advanced room capacity macro. We're not going to go into detail with that one because it, it, it does a lot of, of additional things, but I'm going to show you some screenshots of some ideas and concepts you can do to take this basic macro and make it even more uh, advanced for you, depending on what you want to do. But you're going to go to here and you're going to import from file. And then I've got my downloads here. I've got my room capacity macro. I'm going to say choose. And it's going to load it up here. And you'll see that I've got my room capacity alerting macro. And it tells me what it's going to do. Um, and we're not going to go through all of these details. We are going to go through and um, uh, show you uh, where some of these variables that you can adjust. Uh, we're going to go over these. But um, essentially, this macro is kind of already built for you. It's ready to go. Once you upload it, you save it and you turn it on, it'll work pretty much out of the box. And we're gonna show you what to expect with that. Now, there's a couple things here that you might wanna change specifically to you. So number one is this constant max people. Now this is the maximum number of people that you wanna have in this room. Now today, this is something you're gonna manually edit for each device. So it, again, if my room was 15 to 20 and I wanna limit it to five or six, I would put max people at five or six, whichever I wanted to have in there. And that's going to be the threshold as to what we detect and what that's going to allow before it actually triggers the alert. So in this case, if I have it set to five, if the uh, room intelligence detects five unique people, you're fine. Four, fine. Three, two, one, zero. Everything's fine. As soon as we detect six people in the room, that's going to trigger the alert. And so that's kind of the use case uh, behind this. And that's the thought behind this is when you cross your threshold, we want to give an alert. That alert can then trigger many other things. But in this particular demo, very simple. It's going to do an alert on the device and on the, uh, the Touch 10 device in the room. Alert time. This one right here, I have it set in this one to 60 seconds. This is the time in uh, seconds to display the alert on the screen and touch 10. Um, I've got 60 just for our demo here because when I go up to the board here, we're going to do a different camera view. I'm going to show you also in a little window the, the touch device. 
um, this will be up there long enough where I can just kind of talk about it a little bit. But you probably don't need 60 second alert. It could be 30 seconds. Again, totally customizable. You can change that. And then lastly is this is the text to display. So this is just the, uh, the verbiage that we're using, using. Room capacity has been limited. Please reduce the number of people in this room to now here we've got a variable. This is the max, uh, or the, actually the constant in this case, max people. And you'll notice that I have it set to five, so it'll actually say five on there. Um, and then uh, that's just basically the alert text that you're going to have. But if you want to have some different verbiage for you or a different language, you can come in here and make those changes. So once you upload this, it's very important that you first of all save the macro. And if you do uh, want to make some changes before you save it, you can. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to just leave it at 5. I'm going to leave my alert time at 60. Uh, and I'm going to enable this macro. And it's actually going to uh, come up. Now, a few things I want you to do notice is we do have some, um, uh, some logging here. Um, basically, it's just letting you know that the max capacity of this room is set to 5. Um, and uh, I'm going to scroll this up here just a little bit. Uh, so you can see a little bit better here. Bear with me. There we go. So you'll see here that um, it's picking up uh, initial people count as one. It's updating the count. Uh, I do have another display up here to where the, the, the people presence is actually seeing me on the screen. So I'm kind of doing that on purpose. But uh, it's kind of going back and forth. Uh, it's occasionally picking up another image of me. That's why you're seeing it. So it's real time, you know, basically getting the people count in the room of, of the, the unique heads that it's finding. So take into consideration if you've got uh, pictures of people or reflections of people, it will, you know, pick those up. Uh, but in this case, we've kind of I'm kind of intentionally doing that to have it kind of go back and forth here to show you for this demo example. So now in this particular case, I'm going to turn this macro now off because nothing's going to be triggering here. You notice that I've got this behind me here. Nothing's really happening. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to change our constant here for this max people. And I'm going to say zero. Now, when I do this, it means that if one or more people are in this room, it's going to give an alert. Now, that's probably not what you're going to want to have for your rooms unless maybe you want to have a room that's off limit. Then you could run this and then have it alert people if someone enters the room. Um, there's a couple other ways to do that, but uh, again, for demo purposes, we're going to limit it to, to zero to where I can make sure that we're triggering this alert for you. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I save this macro. Now, uh, before I turn it on, I'm going to change my view here. Oops, sorry. Come over here. So now, so now um, you guys can still, still hear me. me. Uh, uh, Sorry, I want to make sure I had that. Uh, you probably had a little double uh, audio there. I'm going to have an extra camera on for some reason, or sorry, extra microphone. So now you guys can see me. I've got my camera up here on the board. Uh, I have not turned on my macro just yet, um, but I'm going to turn it on, and we're immediately going to see, because I'm in this room, we're going to see the, the alert come up. So enabling it now. All right, and now you see here that I have this alert macro. Room capacity limit reached. Um, there's that text. Remember that uh, constant we had of zero? showing up right there and then you guys should see down here uh, in the bottom this is actually the uh, touch device that is uh, adhered to or paired to this giving that same alert i was going to stay up here for 60 seconds the app is continually polling so as long um, as in this particular demo as long as um, there are people in the room that exceeds the limit this is going to every 60 seconds continue to alert re-alert re-alert if i had it set to 10 seconds it would go away in 10 seconds but it would continually alert people and let them know that they're um, uh, they're over the limits so again real basic macro um, just wanted to kind of show you the idea the concept of it you can do this today uh, i'm going to go back here and let's go to uh, back to this view. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go back to my uh, macro here. I'm going to turn it back off. And I want to show you, I'm just going to bring over an image here of something that I have done. Uh, and this is kind of give you an example of something else that you could potentially do. Now, this image right here is, is basically showing a WebEx team space. Now, this could be a, a Slack space. Um, it could be even, uh, or even work looking at doing stuff with like uh, Facebook Workplace, anything that has an API available that lets you write to it. Um, this is one right here where I've basically got a room capacity admin macro test space internal. So the idea here would be that 
anytime I, I enhance my macro to say that anytime that I am in uh, compliance, you know, alert my uh, workplace team, workplace resources, whomever, that uh, the WebEx Edge Board, for example, is in uh, compliance. It's, it's in the capacity limits. And then whenever it goes out of capacity limits, it would send another alert saying that, hey, it has exceeded the capacity limits. Help you make decisions, help you keep track. It's a way to see how things are being used uh, and also let you know if um, people are, uh, you know, uh, if you need to kind of intervene or make sure that people are, are pr practicing and adhering to the, the rules and guidelines that you guys had put into place. So anyways, um, very quick run through. Um, just want to give you guys an example, show you some things that are available. Uh, please comment, post, let us know if you have any uh, questions on this. We would love to talk about it more and love to get some more ideas and see how you guys could possibly be using some of our room intelligence to enhance and get ready for your return to work. So thanks, be safe and have a great day.